The state tonight warning pet owners about an illness affecting young dogs. The warning coming after dozens of dogs got sick up north with 20 of them dying. Megan Woods joins us live with what pet owners need to know, Megan. Yeah, Kimberly Devin, those reports of sick dogs are coming from communities in Otsego County, including Gaylord. And now a Michigan State University lab is doing some tests to try and get to the bottom of it. But right now they're saying it looks a lot like Parvo, a very contagious virus among dogs. On August 9th, Otsego County Animal Shelter made this post announcing over the last month, dogs have gotten sick to what appears to be parvo. Parvo is an infectious disease, a virus of dogs that can have pretty high mortality, especially in younger dogs. The symptoms are there. Most of the dogs were younger and the dogs have passed away within three days, but their parvo test came back negative. Now, Dr. Dodd at MSU Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory is taking a closer right, look. That we've received samples from a small number of dogs, and of those, several have tested positive for parvovirus. It's unclear why they didn't come up positive originally, but Dr. Dodd says this is just the start of testing and hopes to have more data next week. And while it's miles away, it's a stark reminder for dog owners in Detroit. Very conscientious about keeping, making sure that he's up to date in his vaccines and our vet is very good about letting us know. I always give them shots at least once a year to keep their vaccinations up. State veterinarian Dr. Nora Wineland says that's not all dog owners can do. Pay attention to um, if their dogs are, are not looking well to get that checked out um, and to keep their dogs away from areas where there may be sick dogs. And those main symptoms to look out for is consistent vomiting and diarrhea and sometimes a bloody diarrhea. And if your dog shows signs of any of that, it's important to get to the vet as soon as possible because that can better, uh, better their chance of survival. And again, this is just the start of MSU and that lab looking at data and um, they're hoping to get more information next week. Back to you.